Hi everybody, it's Hilly Zavaro. Today, I would like to show you a really cool website called Magic School. And in this video, I wanna focus on assessment. Anything related to assessment using this AI website called Magic School. So I'm gonna show you a few things I created already. One is a rubric for an assignment. Let's say there's an assignment you wanna to give to students and you wanna give them the rubric ahead of time or maybe you, the teacher, want a really good rubric to have as you grade those assignments. So that's a rubric generator. It's really detailed. Another thing you can do is AI resistant assignment suggestions. Let's say you, in the past 10 years, you've been given the same assignment over and over again, but this time, once when we have ChatGPT and, and Claude and all those text generators out there, um, you know that you need to change the way you assign it, the way you write up the assignment. So. This, um, this option will actually give you ideas on how to tweak and change the assignment so it will be more AI resistant. Here's another thing you can do on this website, Diagnostic Assessment Generator. So let's say you're receiving now um, uh, junior high students, grade seven, and they come from different schools and you're not sure of their level. You can create a Diagnostic Assessment Generator. You just tell the uh, the uh, the the website you tell it um, or you tell the bot what you want to know what do you want the diagnostic test to be about and it will generate a diagnostic test for you of course you have to tweak and change and adapt a little bit but here there's an example I created for fourth grade um, coming to fourth or maybe uh, fifth grade and just checking to see how they are with the verb to be and the verb have Okay, have and has and the verb to be and it created a whole uh, diagnostic test for me so I can see the level of my students. The last thing I will show uh, on this video that um, relates to assessment is scaffolded assignments, meaning let's say there's an assignment, but you want to, you want to create some scaffoldings for a few students or you want to break down the assignment because it's usually very difficult for them to understand all the different parts and, and all the steps that they need to do. So you submit the assignment that you want them to do, and then the computer, basically the AI, breaks it down for you to manageable pieces, scaffolding, so it will be much easier for students to go step by step. So are you ready? All right, so you can go to Magic School right on Google AI and just click on the first result that you get magic school AI. You'll be directed to this website. Now you can sign up. So click sign up free. Now I recommend just clicking on sign up with Google. Then you will be directed to this page. Click on let's get started. And we will start with rubric generator. Just look um, at all these boxes, there are all different options, different things you can do on this site. So click on Rubric Generator. Now let's say you have a special um, assignment that you give to students and you need ideas for Rubric, how to assess students' work. So let's click on Grade Level. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to go with ninth Grade Swabat. I'm going to write something like um, Record um, students will be able to um, talk about their favorite place in town. Okay, this is this can also be a can-do statement. Talk about their favorite place, and then assignment title. We can call this around town. Around town, and now we're gonna go to assignment description. And here I'm going to write something like record a video. Uh, students need to. Students need to record a video of themselves, um, of themselves around town, talking about their favorite place in town, and explain why this should be about two minutes long. Okay, now it says point scale. I'm going to go with five just for the rubric because it's easy to give points between uh, one to five. And there are also things that you can do here. 
add any additional things to the rubric and then click generate. Okay, it's generating. As you can see on the right, it starts to generate a rubric. All right, now we have a rubric here between one and five. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to click on the little copy sign and go to a Word document. I'm going to paste it here in a Word document. Um, now I have from one to five. Five is the highest score. Okay, so you can give it the, the highest score. And we have the first criteria, content knowledge. Number five, given five points would be where the student demonstrates a thorough understanding of their favorite place in town, providing detailed and accurate information. The explanation of why it is their favorite place is compelling and supported by strong evidence. That would be number five. And right below you have organization and structure. Right below you have delivery and presentation. And the student speaks clearly and confidently using appropriate volume, tone, and pace. You have length. The video is approximately two minutes long. And you have technical quality. The video is recorded with high technical quality, etc. Okay, so if we take this rubric, then we get a really good um, uh, feel of how we can assess students. And actually, when we give this to students ahead of time, then they know what they are expected. So if you feel that this is too long for students, perhaps you can, first of all, when you choose, you can go with three point scale and not five. That will be easier for students because then you have only three uh, levels. And also you can go with shorten right below the rubric. There's a button that says shorten <clears throat> and then it creates the same thing, but a little shorter. Okay, so now we have something that is shorter. Okay, still talking about assessment, I want you to now choose AI resistant ass assignment suggestions. This is really nice because it takes just an assignment that you were used to give that you used to give your students and now it's going to make it uh, more AI resistant, meaning it will be more difficult for your students to generate the response by a chatbot. So you start with grade level and let's say you go with sixth grade and now the assignment description that I usually give would be write 10 sentences um, in the present simple about your um, daily habits, for example. Now I'm going to click generate and let's see the suggestions. Okay, it's generating many different ideas. Let's have a look. In the first one, it says to um, to describe their daily, daily habits, but also provide reasons for them. So we are pushing them to engage in higher order thinking. This modification requires students to think critically and reflect on their habits rather than simply uh, just saying the information. The second suggestion uh, basically says incorporating metaphors and sims in their sentences. So that adds creativity and imagination um, to uh, the assignment and it challenges students to think abstractly and come up with comparisons and enhance the meaning of their habits. Wow, great ideas. Moving forward to uh, an option that says Diagnostic Assessment Generator. Now we're going to go with a diagnostic assessment. Okay, I'm going to go with grade four and I'm going to say here what specifically should be assessed. I'm going to say level of uh, grammatical abilities, the verb to be and the verb have. Okay, which are very, very basic and I want everybody to know how to use them. Uh, let's say around mid um grade four or maybe uh, end of grade four, begin of grade five. But let's say I just want to see if they know how to use the verb to be and the verb have. I'm going to go with questions. Let's go with 10 questions and I'm going to click generate. Now it's going to generate a diagnostic assessment. Okay, so now it created multiple choice questions 
with a fill in the gap question, basically, where they have to choose the correct answer. All right, and we have the answer key right below, which is nice. Now, this would be a good idea if you're getting a new class this year and you don't know the level of, of the students. So you want to create perhaps a diagnostic exam to see where they stand. Okay, now we have the verb, uh, which verb is used the right now. Now, some of them, I'm not sure they're good for grade four. So what I'm going to do is copy right here in this copy icon, top right, top right. I'm going to paste this on a Word document. So I'm going to a Word document and I'm pasting. Okay. Now. Mm, okay. Now I'm going to change things just a little bit. I'm going to delete this part. And I have a question that says she, mm, a teacher. And students have to choose is, has, have, or am. Now, same with this. I'm going to delete the beginning. And I'm just going to leave I, mm, a new bicycle. And students have to choose is, are, have, or has. So it's a wonderful diagnostic exam for the beginning or mid grade four, just to see, uh, or five actually, just to see if students are mastered, have, uh, have has and the verb to be. Note how amazing it is if you getting a grade seven classroom this year where they come from different schools for uh, to uh, junior high and you're not sure uh, where they stand. So this is a good diagnostic exam. You just write all the specifications and what you need to assess and it's going to create an exam for you. Another thing I wanna show you is assignment scaffolder. This option is about scaffolding assignments to make sure all students uh, get the assignment in manageable steps um, and can handle it better. Now note that you can, you can do this with just a few students. You don't have to do this with everybody. Um, you can um, use this tool to break down an assignment to manageable pieces and give it only to five students who really, really need it. Okay, so let's go with grade level, let's say grade seven. And now here I'm going to say um, perhaps uh, something we usually do in grade seven, write about an amazing teenager that has done something unique. Um, and we can say research the information online and um, write a composition and also create a poster about him or her. All right, let's say, let's see what it says. Generate, I'm gonna hit generate. Okay, so now we have scaffolded assignments for students. Step one, choose an amazing teenager. And it really breaks down the assignment. Think about someone who has achieved something remarkable or made a difference in the world. Make sure the teenager you choose has enough information available online. And step two, research online. Use a search engine or reliable websites to gather information about your chosen teenager. Look for details about their achievements, backgrounds, and contributions. Take notes. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Then step three, organize your composition. Step four, write your composition. Step five, create a poster. And it breaks down everything to small pieces. Um, by the way, um, you can also click on shorten and make it shorter. And that way, perhaps it's better for students to read. It's just seven steps. It writes everything in seven short steps for them to look at and it will be much, much easier. And if you want to also um, translate, you can also uh, translate it to their native language. There's also here, the first time it gives you the option to translate. So if you want to go with the longer version, you can click on translate and it will actually translate it for them. You choose the language. 
and it starts translating. Here I translate everything to Hebrew and you can give it to students right away, the English and the Hebrew together for those who need it, of course. Okay, so I hope you like the ideas. Those were a few assessment related ideas on Magic School using magicschool.ai. Hope you like it and um, don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you next time. Bye bye.